So about six weeks ago, I got so fired up about recording Diablo for the channel. I was going to play through the entire game, just have a continuous series going all the way until I finished playing it. I sat down, just so motivated, recorded for three hours, like, holy shit, I, I can't put this game down. Close it down. That's, that's good for today. Look, and it's three hours of my face and no gameplay, so I fucked up. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Diablo 1, the Beelzebub mod. I had to rage quit after I realized that I didn't properly record those three hours. I also didn't want to have to go back and like try to remember what I had and hadn't said. And so I feel like it's been long enough that it, it's all flushed out my mind. I don't remember what the fuck I talked about so I can go in kind of fresh and just, just get back into it. But I had to make a new character. So Foxy Hot Pants is dead. She was all the way up to like level 15, but fuck her, she's gone. So long, Foxy. I now have Fucky Fuck Pants, who I made like a day later when I was still mad about the whole thing. And she should be left off like right around where the other game was. I'm, I'm not going to have the same equipment. I think my bow is a bit worse. Uh, I guess if you want to take a look at that, it doesn't do much. Uh, shitty ring, shitty belt. The ring that I, you automatically get from the quest, pretty okay armor I guess, shitty helmet. So I don't remember what Foxy Hot Pants had, but it probably was like r roughly the same as that, maybe a bit better actually. I don't remember if I addressed this in the last episode or not, but it became painfully obvious that Wirt was just talking in backwards ordered words. I kind of had an inkling that that was what was going on before, but it, it was really obvious going back to it. Alright, so here's the butcher's chamber. Let me just run in here and close that door. I'm gonna keep everyone out of here. Oh, fuck. Oh no, now it's gonna be blocked. Alright, well everyone just leave me alone for a little while then. And so obviously what Wirt was getting at was open a town portal in the butcher's chamber. This is something that totally wasn't in the original game. Well, actually, I should say it was in the original game, but it had to get cut because of time constraints and stuff. So there's like a really half-finished cutscene that plays. I thought it played right when you came down here, so now I'm not so certain. I think they just decided it wasn't worth the butcher having his own area, which I don't know if I really like. I, I like that when you just encountered him in his room there, it was kind of almost unexpected. There was like some sense of dread, and then it ended up being just like horrifying and like devastatingly powerful. Whereas here there's like a, a bit more showmanship building up to it, which I don't think I like as much, but I'm gonna be biased because I just grew up with the the original version of the game and so I'm more likely gonna prefer those versions of things. When you're just running through the dungeon and all of a sudden he comes at you with his big epic line, which maybe I won't spoil if you guys are new to the game, but it was just so scary, whereas here, eh, maybe not as much. The, uh, the Diablo team was a big fan of having these little side rooms that you had to go into and then you'd pull levers and it would allow you to access new rooms and stuff, so I think this is the first time in the game here that we have have that where there's certain blocked doors that I have to go unlock by exploring all these symmetrical side rooms. Fuck. Oh god, oh fuck, what? Oh, I just accidentally button mashed the hell out of the potions with some fat ass fingers there. That was a big fucking waste. That, I'm definitely gonna have to go back to town before I fight the butcher because I want as many potions as fucking possible. Oh, maybe there are no levers up in this room. I don't know, this is like the second time I've ever played through this room, the only other time being when I totally fucked up my game, so <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe I can just- no, they're broken, they're broken, there is something I have to go do first. Alright, here's- here's a good old-fashioned lever for me. Ooh, and a small axe. I- oh shit, I think there's, uh, one more room up ahead here. I don't think this is gonna- this is gonna- bring the butcher down on me. I'm opening up a portal just in case because I am worried he's just gonna come barreling out of here when I go through this door. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, I got one more wave of guys to go through first. I fought the butcher like dozens of times in my day and I and I fought and killed him like oh shit. Alright, here's that cutscene I was talking about. Oh fucking gruesome. I 
Oh, there's this fucking scary line. The first time ever playing this game, that just made me shit my pants. It's so deep and loud and fucking evil and just way scarier than anything else that happens in this game. Oh, it's just... It, I, I'm just shitting my pants. Oh, fuck, he snuck up on me. Oh, this son of a bitch. Oh, God. I'm fucking so much older than I was back when I used to do this, and I, and I fought and killed him rel really recently, but it's still just the scariest goddamn thing. If I if I time it just right, I can kind of fire off a couple shots at him. I need more potions. I can't deal with this. Take the fucky fuck pants portal. <laughs> oh, oh my, was I ever ill prepared there? That ought to do it for potions. Maybe, maybe a couple more just to be safe. Lots of times when I used to play this game, I would just wait until I was a few levels higher, come back, and the butch is not as big of a deal. But I wanna, I wanna do this in order here and give you guys the real experience of terror with this motherfucker just waiting for me. Oh shit! I like, I'm not gonna have a chance to make another portal. Kill this guy! Fucking hit, hit! God, don't miss every fucking shot like that, you dumb bitch! Oh no! <laughs> this is not going well for me at all. Fireball! Oh, not worth it. Not at all worth it. Focus on the arrows. That's, you're, you're better at those. Why aren't you faster? I thought I had I thought I had a tiny bit more speed on him than this. Oh yeah. Edging him out around those corners. Two hits though, two hits is the most I can get on him. Fuck. Oh yeah, look at that! Oh the idiot he got caught on the door! Oh fuck, he's roping me in with his attacks. Uh, uh, oh no. Oh I accidentally threw it on the ground. There's no time to go back for it. It's lost. It's it's lost. I don't get that potion anymore. Ooh, 666. Six, six. You're in for it now. I got the devil on my side. I guess that would mean Diablo. I probably don't have the devil on my side. He's he's definitely on your side. <laughs> he snuck in that one little extra shot. Little my little pot shots on my little pot bellied friend here. I found I found these doorways to be an effective strategy. He tends to get caught up a little bit when he's when he's rounding those corners sometimes. I just gotta keep it nice and tight. Shit, he does way too much damage. What is my health? 71? And he's doing like at least 10 at a time when he hits me? Fucking great, thanks. Just miss as much as possible, fucky. Oh, a 10. That's huge. <laughs> huge for me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, no, no, no. No, keep, keep moving, keep moving. I gotta get more potions in my slots here. Oh, ooh, ooh. quick, quick acting. Fireball! Three. Not gonna, not gonna waste my time with that one. He's probably got some sort of magical resistances. Or I'm just not a good spellcaster. That's just as likely. Fuck. Uh, this is one, one point where I wish maybe I had the warrior is the ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with bad guys like this. But it's, I don't know, I, I think I prefer the rogue overall. This is, this is still just a fun way to play for me. Oh, sweet. Got him down to like half health. Good thing I loaded up on potions. Oh, nope, nope. I kind of tried to stand my ground for a second. That was a bad choice. Shouldn't have done that. That's how you get wasted. No. No, 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 no. Fuck. Fuck. I keep whipping these stupid potions on the ground. I think I prefer fighting him up in his little, his little room. Well, he totally runs out of the room in the original game. Like, you have to fight him on the level. And so in this particular instance, I like having him in his own lair, just so that I don't have to worry about skeletons and devilkins and zombies and shit interfering with this, because I would definitely be dead by now if that were the case. And when I fought this guy six weeks ago, I died at least once, maybe twice, so I'm, I got my fingers crossed that I could do this without dying. I, I have my strategy in place now. No, 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 no! Oh god, oh god, no, no, no! Fucking get away! Get away from him, god damn it! Oh, he fucking trapped me. I just used a lot of potions. I did not, I was, I did not think I would go through this many potions. I was kind of joking around when I grabbed that many. Is he coming around the backside? I'm so scared. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why? Why does he just randomly decide to do that sometimes? I can't believe I almost died so close to saying I was going to try and do this without dying. No, 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 that was an accident. Fuck you, fireball, you're gonna be the death of me. Oh, that was a dumb place to cast that. I'm, I might accidentally click on that at some point. I, I, didn't, I meant to cast it, but not necessarily right there. That was stupid of me. 
I'm very lucky he doesn't decide to just take the portal and go kill everyone in town. They would be pretty defenseless. Maybe Griswold could help, but uh, I think the butcher would just kind of just run shop. Maybe he'd probably run the town and just open up a butcher's shop, in fact. Fuck. I gotta move more potions to my belt here, but I don't have many left. Okay, I got four fucking potions to work with here. I'm about to break out into some kind of nervous sweat. He's so close. Oh, I'm so close to dying as well. Fuck. Two potions. Come on, come on, just stand your ground. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank God. That is the most stressful thing in this entire fucking game. Large axe, leather armor, and the butcher's cleaver, which is an item that you actually get every time. Two, two potions left. Just barely got him. Good thing I grabbed those three, like, just for jokes potions at the end there. Ooh. Oh, good. Now I'll just pillage around in his room of gross dead bodies. Just admire some of his handiwork. See that guy he was hanging up on the wall over there just for shits and giggles because he's a twisted fuck. Ooh, I don't remember if I was working towards anything in particular. Two in the life, one in the strength. Two and a dexterity. I want to keep that dexterity good and high, just in case uh, a good new type of bow comes along. I want to keep the strength high so I can use good armor. I, I'm not even in the in the stage yet where armor requires strength, but eventually that will be a thing, and I want to be prepared. Fire off a quick few identifies. I mean, it's a pretty good axe, but I can't do anything with it. Resist cold doesn't matter much at this point, but it, it will. It will. Plus five to strength, though. Uh, it's better than magic. And one less armor. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make the trade. I'll, I'll go for it. Oh, sweet. The clumsy bow. Just uh, basically no damage and no chance to hit. What a piece of shit bow. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Never done this before. And the belt is also minus the thing, so another waste. And I'll show you guys the cleaver, plus 10 to strength, altered durability. I don't know if that's always the case. That's a strange one, I don't remember that normally being there. But you just get this big, dumb, slow cleaver that does, like, kind of a shitload of damage. I'll take it down to the dungeon and show it off for a minute, I suppose. Wirt should be pleased to know that I took care of the butcher. He normally hangs out up here, so... I, I thought he was on the other side of the bridge for some reason. Guess he's just chilling in the corner here. Over here. I don't know if I've shown you guys his shop before. He has something to sell, but you have to pay to look, and usually the shit that he sells sucks. So I'm just here to talk to him. Nothing? You're not, like, stoked about the fact that I killed the butcher? You ungrateful little bastard. I'm not even gonna take my portal then. I'm just gonna jump right into this waypoint because I know that this is right next to those stairs. And I'll just hop on down to level three. Ooh, minions right off the bat. I have to dispatch of these. Ooh, and I'll dispatch of these with my new trusty axe. Ah, <laughs> look at all that damage it does. But it really puts me in the line of fire and is not, not good for overall, uh, overall rogue health. I gotta get out of here, this is not. This is not a good place for me to stay. <laughs> this is adding up against me very quickly. Great, great way to start the level. There's a lot of shit just crowded around right at the bottom of those fucking stairs. That's what I would do if I was, you know, these minions of the bad guy. I wouldn't wait to go toe to toe. I would be a sneaky, sneaky little rat that hit around corners and waited until the, the adventurer came strolling down to the next level and said something like, the stench of death is thick in this level, or whatever you say when you first walk into the cathedral. And then I chomp, chomp her heels and get it, get, get the jump on her. You're a little rat creature. She's a trained adventurer. I don't think you're gonna uh, win in just like a regular, regular head-to-head -head battle. It's the El Chupacabra. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm fighting the El Chupacabra. The the even more feared enemy than. The, the butcher is this bright yellow El Chupacabra that eats goats. That's so funny that that's in the game. Oh, good. Good, good. Use all of your potions as quickly as possible. I don't remember for sure, but I think Leoric might be down on the third floor here. I'll be I'll be sure to do a clean sleep, a sweep of the floors, make sure I'm getting all quests and, you know, side quests and everything. Make sure it's a, as full of a playthrough as it can possibly be. And from now on, I'll just be extra careful to make sure I'm recording things properly, so I'm... Oh... Oh my god! Not even on my old character did I learn Town Portal. 
Fuck yeah! Yes! Finally! <laughs> I'm totally interrupting my own ending so that I can finally learn Town Portal. You have no idea how fucking helpful that is. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass to go buy Town Portals or just wait for them to drop and everything. That's such a relief to me. I'm so happy about that. Don't even remember what I was saying. I think it was just, I intend to not fuck up the recording again so that the series can continue on to completion. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I had to take six weeks off, but I just couldn't fucking... I was too mad at myself. I'll see you guys again soon.